Hey everybody, this is Kenny at Kenco Power and Soft Washing. You guys may have seen my uh, prior videos of where I was getting screwed on my uh, uh, bleach purchase. And so I bought a Lovey Bond uh, 147-490 bleach, high, high percentage bleach testing kit. Okay. Uh, anyway, one of my viewers uh, asked me to do a video on how to use the test kit, which is a good idea because it is confusing. Um, so I'll show you what the kit looks like. I've already got some of it out, but it's it's definitely a science project. So uh, oddly, you don't use everything in there. <laughs> so, or at least I don't. Uh, so right here, 147-490, and I think the new kits now are smaller. It's got the same stuff in it, I believe, but smaller. Um, let me put my hat on here. The first thing I want to tell you guys to do is print you off your instructions um, from the Lovey Bond website. Print it off because the ones that come with it are really tiny. And, you, you know, with my old eyes, I can't hardly see it. So print off, you know, a, a big sheet of paper, two or three of them. And I just, you know, carry this in a Ziploc bag, put it in here, because um, there for a while when I was testing all the time, I had all this memorized, but it, it is quite a little project here. So, um, okay, so one of the first things you need to do, you need to have chlorine free water so you can get distilled water or you can set your water out your tap water out for a day um, you just don't want any chlorine in it but in reality I don't think it's going to make a difference because it's we're talking about drinking water that's just a few parts per million as opposed to you know checking 18 percent um, I really don't think it's a big deal, but I have a reverse osmosis filter, so there's no chlorine in this water, and so that's what I use. Um, so, um, first thing we're going to do is we got a little plastic beaker here. I just dip out of my SH tank, and you know, full strength right there. So, that's what we want to know. Um, all right, so basically, the test dilutes this it dilutes it down twice so we can we can uh, test it with a spectrometer or they call it a tintometer i believe where is it right there so this is basically a, a visual comparator as far as color goes you see it's already loaded for two to eighteen uh, percent sh if you're testing something else, it would be low. You can put a different disc in it, but this is only one disc comes in the kit, so it's ready to go for testing. I believe it's two to eighteen percent, and that's what we're all dealing with. All right, so let's get started here with the actual test. So it says to flush the five milliliter syringe several times with a sample and fill it so no air bubbles are present. So. This is our sample right here. This is our original number one sample. So here's our five milliliter syringe. It has five there. It'll go to six, but it, it shows five. So that's what we're talking about. So we're gonna flush it. I usually, you know, only flush it once, but so let's do this. We'll pull some in here. They just wanna make sure you don't have any water left in here that's going to skew the test so I'm going to flush it once you can flush it however many times you want then it says to to pull to 5% right there Go a little bit down a little bit more okay so nope I'm not quite 5% sorry guys Okay, now we're at five percent. So we take the five percent. Well, let's just read it. Place the five milliliter 
in a 100 milliliter flask this is what they're talking about fill the flask to 100 milliliter mark with chlorine free water and mix well so they want a total of 100 milliliters there it is right there 100 milliliters so we'll put this five in here the whole thing and we're going to pour our water in till it gets to 100 right there okay so there's our first sample we've diluted it now now let's see what it says flush the one one milliliter syringe several times with the solution prepared there's our prepared solution we don't need that anymore uh, so we're going to do that here's our prepared solution I'm going to flush this one a few times and then it's going to tell you to um, then fill it <clears throat> so that no bubbles are present. So we'll do this. This one, since it's not so hot, now you, all the way down, it's it's probably it's more than one milliliter. So you have to go up here to the next increment here. So right there, there's one milliliter, and it says to put it in your second flask so we'll do that so you see we we just have a little bit here and it says place the one milliliter in the second 100 milliliter measurement flask uh, top this flask off to the 100 millimeter 100 milliliter mark with this with fresh water we'll do that again so this is our second time we're diluting it right there might be no it's right on it's right on so I'm gonna move this over here now this is our new sample here so these are cells they're calling these uh, 13 milliliter cells right here so it says rinse a 13 milliliter cell right here let's just rinse it like that rinse dry it out now it says with the solution prepared as D and top off to 10 milliliter mark so here's our second dilution we're going to go to 10 milliliter well I hit it perfect okay so anyway there's 10 milliliters so our second dilution goes in here we're here so it says add chlorine tablet to the cell crush it thoroughly with a stirring rod and mix well so we have chlorine tablet right tablet right here get that in there like so you see the pill is in here and you have to take this little hammer thing and crush it takes a little bit once it gets going it, it works pretty fast okay you see how yellow that turned all right so we're completely we've crushed that pill completely Okay, so let's go over here. <clears throat> um, add the chlorine tablet. We just did that, and we mixed it well. Then add the acid, acidifying uh, tablet. Crush it thoroughly with the stirring rod again. Mix well. The solution will turn yellow. Well, we've, we're already yellow, but here's the acid, acidifying tablet right here. So we're going to put that in like so and we're going to do the same thing crush it mix it well you guys following along that have this kit just you know pause and get caught up and pause and get caught up 
Now this one here takes a little bit more. There's some particles in there. A little bit more. Like I said, I, I wasn't joking when I told everybody it's like a science project. Okay. Now we're nice and yellow. Okay. Now it says to place the cell, this cell, in the right-hand chamber of the comparator. We'll do that. Right-hand side. Um, fill the second cell to the 10 milliliter mark with the solution used in stage three and place it in the left chamber. Now, that would be, this is our first dilution. This is our second dilution. So we use this. And I swear this don't really do anything. And you can you can fill this one up past it. It's just a control. And so it's as clear as can be. I this is the part that I'm, I'm like, why are they even doing that? Now it says to match the two color fields against the north daylight. So this is north. They just don't want you to do it in direct sunlight. Now what we're going to do is we're going to closely match that those two colors there. I'm going to go extreme. You see how the two colors, dark and light. So we'll just keep rotating until we think the two colors, tints, are the same. And just go, you can go past. Once you go past, this side will get darker. And you come back really far. And this side's lighter so kind of just work your way into each you know work it back and forth until you kind of find a happy medium okay so i'm going to stop right there so we are at nine percent just a hair under nine percent right there there's eight tens right up here so we're at nine percent now you're going to say, well, shouldn't it read 12.5%? Well, yeah, but to, I'm just going to be dead honest with you. I've been slow the last couple of weeks, and this, uh, my bleach is two weeks old. And it just sets out here, uh, you know, in the sunlight, even though we've had some cold days and stuff. But anyway, so it's not fresh. But I can work with 9%. So that's how you do it right there. And if you guys uh, want any other type of videos made to help you out, let me know and I'll try to accommodate. So uh, anyway, please like and subscribe, share my content, and leave a comment down below. It helps my channel grow. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.